everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Ekwa Labi and in today's video this is the second video in my series of movies I saw at Sundance and the second movie is called Master at an elite New England University built on the site of a Salem era gallows hill three women strive to find their place Gail Bishop Played by Regina Hall, I thought she was really fantastic in it. Jess, and stated as master, a dean of students, discovers what lies behind the school's immaculate facade. First year student Jasmine Moore confronts a new home that is cold and unwelcoming, and literature professor Liv Beckman collides with colleagues who question her right to belong. Navigating politics and privilege, they encounter increasingly terrifying manifestations of the school's haunted past and present. When the movie started, mm -hmm. we are introduced to the first year student, which is Jasmine. She comes to this place. And all the white people there, like when she gets to the new house, all the white people there are like, ooh, that's a new one. And all of a sudden, my, my senses start to be like, oh my goodness, what sort of creepy place is this? Imagine you go to a new school, you go to the new hall, house, and then the people are like, ooh, a new person, a live one. I'll be like, hold on, <laughs> is, is there a problem over here? Do I need to like skedaddle out of here? And also for the fact that it was... There were all white people in the house, and I showed the solitary black person getting there. I felt like she had a lot more sense of self preservation because I guess that is 2022, you know, but still, racism is alive and well, especially at this place that presented this, you know, diverse facade because it says that they're very progressive. But then, Gail Bishop was the first black master they've had since the school was instituted in 17 something. So that should tell you all you need to know, especially when the old masters of the house had had slaves, had slave holding paraphernalia that was eye raising. One of the things that I feel like will hamper the reception to master is that it's going to get a lot of comparisons to Get Out, which is unfortunate. Like I know Get Out was really great. And I feel like when people are going to watch, they're going to be like, oh my God, is this like Get Out? Which it's really not, but at the same time it is. Because you know, it, it uses racism as social commentary. Well, no, it uses horror as social commentary on racism found in certain spaces that are deemed to be liberal, certain spaces that are deemed to be progressive, certain spaces that are deemed to be inclusive, diverse, all those buzzwords. And that's what Master does. One of the things I do like about Master is the fact that even though it's a horror, a lot of the things that happen, the horrific things that happen are done off screen. So we get the sense that, oh, there's something coming, but we never see what is coming, which I do like it, but I feel like a lot of people would be like, wait, why don't we see what it is? And we are introduced to like, the witches that were killed on this place but we are just they, they just say it in passing like there's this margaret millet that was killed for being a witch she is mentioned so many times that i thought oh my goodness we're going to see her do something but that never pans out so at the end my i'm scratching my head like okay so she's supposed to kill a student every year but like okay so she she was just mentioned everybody made it seem like oh she's like such a boogeyman but we did not see that pan out so i do not like that as much another thing i found interesting about master was that when jasmine gets into this space and there are all white people in this space and she gets to the cafeteria one of the first couple of weeks she gets to the cafeteria she's bubbling you know she's bubbly she's energetic she's in this new space she's here to learn and she encounters a woman serving at the cafeteria and this woman is also black also african-american and she's nice to all the white people like when all the white people come she's like hey girl she's like hey how you doing how's school how's everything but then jasmine walks in and then her demeanor instantly changes and i thought that would be expanded upon but we never got to know why. So my mind, I was like, hold on, is it, does it mean that the school repels black people? Like if you're a black person, you come to the school, the school instantly like repel you or frustrate you so much that you would instantly leave. But that was just hinted as I thought that would be an interesting thread to follow, but did not follow, but they did not follow on that thread. So we got this very interesting, intriguing thing that happened, but it didn't pan out. So I was like, mm, okay. Sure. And then Jasmine meets a fellow African American girl in the school who's called Sasha. And she says that there are like only eight people, eight black people in the whole school. And I'm like, hold on. I, f I mean, yeah, you, you should go to spaces where you're not welcome. But at some point, you need to get to like, you need to know that there are familiar faces around that. When push comes to shove, you can easily go there and be like, you know, these people are acting crazy. But she does not do that. And she increasingly goes into these spaces that are dominated by all white people. That is very unfriendly because they go to a party and these white people are jumping up and down, singing rap music and saying the N word, 
saying bitch, saying all those things. And she's there. And I was like, oh my goodness, girl, get out of this. Like, get out. Get out so quickly because this place is so unfriendly to you. You cannot even fathom it. That is Jasmine. And then we meet Gail Bishop, played by Regina Hall, who I thought was really good in it. And she was the first black master of the house, you know, dean of students. I don't know why they call them master, which is, I feel like, yeah, you know, master, slave. But anyway, she's a dean of students. And when she enters her new house, she realizes that there's something weird going on in her house because there are bells that are ringing but nobody is ringing these bells she increasingly has nightmares there are worms out coming out of every crevice in her house and i thought that oh my goodness why is that happening that also isn't explained you know we see all these weird things happening to her but it kind of feels like they are happening but we don't know what's going to it doesn't pan out so it's like why why are there worms in her house What's the supernatural thing that is haunting her? Let us know. You know? But we didn't find that out. Then the third woman was Liv, who is trying to be, who's trying to get tenure to be a literature professor. But, you know, they did not want that. It kind of seems like they have a one black person quota and they've already found that to the dean of students. So it's like, we already have hair, so why do we need you? But then at the end, we find out something very troubling about her that I thought would be expanded on, which once again, it wasn't expanded on. So I mean, that was like such a letdown. But all in all, I did really enjoy Master. What I do know about Master is that it's going to premiere on Amazon Prime Video on March 18th. So you should like bookmark that on your calendar when, for when it comes out. I do like the ending of Master. Maybe not as much, but I actually do appreciate the ending of Master. I think it was very well done. And also, I kind of feel like we should have, you know, the boogeyman, the overall boogeyman in this movie was racism. But I thought that it would be really great if we had like an actual person we could see, touch, feel. The person they were fighting, the person that was against them was felt very abstract. And for a movie that was so grounded, I felt like mm, it was a miss. So I don't know, I don't know. That was like one of the things I said, mm, y'all didn't, y'all didn't think this through. But anyways, you know, that is that. We're done with that. But if Master comes out and you watch it, come back to this video. And let me know what you thought about it because when the movie does premium, I'm going to post it again and so that you should check out my review. Anyway, so let me know what you think about Master when it premieres. My name is Ifa Lavi. Thank you so much for supporting me, this channel, um, everything I do. And I'll see you on my next video.